between me and you I feel a chemistry I won't let no one come and take your place Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced to my channel if you're new my name is diamond go ahead and subscribe and if you're not new hey how you guys are doing um as for me i've just been you know day-to-day -day stuff nothing exciting so i have a haul today that i wanted to share um i have like some bath and body work um purchases that i made online so I have a couple boxes of that and then I also have a couple of boxes of Target uh, from purchases that I made online. So <clears throat> I wanted to go ahead and share that with you all. Um, some of it's like the new like Christmas stuff that um, Bath and Body Works came out with. I ordered a few things from the, the Christmas release. And then as far as Target, I think I got a few like Christmas items. I know I got some ornaments. I went to the store um i think a week ago and i bought a few ornaments and just slowly you know just buying christmas items um before it all sells out because y'all know this stuff goes fast so um go ahead and grab your drinks and get ready it's been a while so i don't know why i feel like a little nervous because it's been a while i've been busy working a lot and i haven't really had time to um to like make a video but don't worry, like I got this, I'm, I'm going to get back in my routine. So I just get really tied up. <clears throat> I just get really tied up, you know, with life sometimes. And I have to, you know, set time aside to do what I love to do, which is make my content, you know, make my videos for you all. And I also love watching my videos. I spend a lot of my spare time like watching you guys, like all the uh, YouTubers, all you girls out there. You guys are really just shining and just I love watching you guys. And yeah, I just wanted to put that out there. So here I am and I'm going to go ahead and get ready. I may sound a little awkward because like I said, I feel, I don't know why I feel a little shy right now, but, and it's been a while since I've done like a sit down video. I've been doing like vlogs and just like recording, you know, when I go to the stores and stuff like that, but, um, I'm back to my sit down videos. So, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and get started. I also have, um, another video lined up that I plan on, um, working on today. And it's an unboxing, so you guys stay tuned for that video. Be on the lookout for that video because I'm also work on that one also. <clears throat> so, I got my coffee, y'all know. Y'all know I love my coffee. So I got my coffee. I made this at home. This is at home coffee. And this is just the rose gold, um cup i don't know when this came out i don't know how long i've had this i've had this for a while it's really pretty it's beautiful <clears throat> um i know y'all have seen the christmas cups oh my god it took everything i had not to get the christmas cups but i have so many of these cups it's like i i can't like i can't use them up before i'm purchasing another one so I went ahead and passed on the cups, even though the gold one was so fire. I was like, oh. I was like, oh, be strong. So I didn't get it, but I did get the little ornaments, the little like keychains, but I didn't get the cups because I just was like, oh, I got so many cups. Like I don't have to buy one from every release. So yeah, I didn't get one, but I left this one. This one's really pretty. This is the rose gold. And then for my candle, my candle of the day, is my target threshold pumpkin candle these came out during fall right right at the beginning of fall um these are from target the threshold brand and i believe this is the pear honey crisp this is the pear honey crisp um scent so i really love this the, the color of the candle it's like a really pretty green um you know tinted 
green color, really pretty. So I went ahead and lit her. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started, okay. How's everyone doing out there? Are you guys excited for Christmas? Are you excited for the rain and the snow and all the temperature changes? Oh my God, it's getting so cold. Child, it is cold here. It's cold. Um, our lows have been like 24, 25. That's the lowest like we've seen recently, like 25. Um, most nights is like 34, but our lows are really cold. And our highs is maybe 54. Our highs aren't very high. <laughs> it's cold here. So we are getting ready to hunker down. We're, we're about to get snow. We've already gotten the snow. Um, um, I think a week ago, we got a little bit of snow. Um, it's pretty much melted away, but we're getting ready to get more snow. We're about to have a couple more days of snow. And yeah, we're, we're getting ready to hunker down because we're about to get hit with snow. And you guys will see if you follow me on Instagram, I'm always posting pictures of the snow and, you know, our weather. And it's, it's really pretty, but it's cold. It's cold. So, yeah. But enough about, about me. You guys see, I love y'all that much. Like, I go to Target and buy stuff and I don't even, like, I want to share it with y'all first. But it's Christmas stuff, so, you know. I'm not really using it yet anyway. I'm slowly taking down my fall and my Halloween stuff right now. And I'm going to, like, slowly get into my Christmas decor. Um, I don't just jump into it. A lot of people, you know, take down their Halloween and jump straight into Christmas. I don't really like to do that because I don't, I can't, I can't sit and look at Christmas for months and months. So, um, I'm going to slowly by Thanksgiving, I will definitely have my Christmas stuff up, but I'm just taking my time. I'm not going to rush and throw up a bunch of Christmas stuff right now. Like doing the tree and all that stuff. Nah, I, I'm not. First gonna... box, Bath and Body Works. Um, I know they had a sale. I can't even remember. I ordered this stuff so long ago. It's been sitting here for a while. I know they had the Christmas stuff come out. I ordered from that. And then I also ordered from a sale. I don't know if it was a 550 sale or so. It might have been a aromatherapy sale. We're about to see because I'm just opening this box. It's This box is still sealed. And I got my handy pink box cutter. Super cute, super handy. And let's see what we got here. Bubble wrap receipt. This is from. This was a. Oh, this is. Oh, this is Halloween stuff. So, I'm thinking this was when they had like the Halloween clearance, and I bought a few things. So my first one is the Wicked Vanilla Woods. At first, I wasn't really feeling this scent, but after I started wearing it, I really started liking it. So I decided to go ahead and get a backup of it because I just fell in love with it. It's weird. Like, I didn't really like it at first, but once I started spraying it and wearing it every day, like, I don't know, it grew on me. So I definitely had to get another one of those. I also got a uh, Sugared Spell hand soap. When Halloween came around, I went into my stockpile and I had like no Halloween soaps. Like literally, I had I think I had one. So, and then what do I do? I <laughs> only bought one more. <laughs> I'm gonna have to buy some more next year, but I just realized like, dang, I don't have no Halloween soaps. And I got like my kitchen, my two bathrooms, you know, and I had no Halloween soaps. So I bought that one. <laughs> Did get a bath bomb. This is Ghoul Friend. I think these bath bombs were really cheap. Like I said, they were on sale. I know they had a sale, so I went ahead and jumped on it. Oh yeah, these bath bombs were three dollars. Yeah, the the Wicked Vanilla Woods spray was six dollars. So yeah, most of the stuff was three dollars, four dollars, really reasonable price, which is good. So. So I, I got this bath bomb and then I also got the pumpkin carving. 
because I love my baths. So I'm always purchasing bath bombs. When Lush has their uh, one, one sale a year, because they literally only have one sale a year and that's their Christmas stuff. After Christmas, they have this huge clearance where they're basically giving away like their bath bombs and stuff. I always order a huge order of that stuff and it lasts me the whole year when I'm taking my baths, like the bubble bars and the bath bombs. So you guys, if, be on the lookout. If you like to get like bath bombs um, and bubble bars and stuff for your bath, Lush has a really good sale. They basically like just give it away after Christmas and it's a once a year sale. Lush never has a sale, only once a year. I got some wallflower refills. This one is Fall in Bloom. This is a beautiful scent. I really love this scent. Also, um, this one is the Perfect Autumn. Really nice scent also. Um, the Perfect Autumn is fresh cranberry, spice pumpkin, crisp apple, and rich clove. So that's, that's the Perfect Autumn. For Fall in Bloom, it's Juicy Plum, Wild Blooms, and Velvet Moss. So that's Fall in Bloom. Um, this one is the Salted Butterscotch and Vanilla. This one smells, smells really good. Um, and the scents are Sweet Bourbon, Caramel Brulee, Warm Vanilla, and Buttered Maple. And that bourbon kind of tones down the sweetness a little bit, which really works out. Um, if you didn't have that bourbon in it, it'd probably be really sweet and, you know, butterscotchy. But um, with the bourbon, it just really just, you know, tones it down. I have two candles. These are single wicks. This one is the hot cocoa and cream. This is a must have in the winter time. Um, you can light this up in the morning time while you're having your coffee. It smells just like cocoa. It smells beautiful. Oh, divine. It smells so good. That's a, I think that's a must have for everyone. Everyone should have one of those. And then I have this one, which is strawberry maple waffles. I had never heard of this one and I wanted to give it a try. I figured, I, I don't really go for like strawberry scents, but this one smells good. It smells like, it does, you can smell the maple in it, that's for sure. You can smell the maple waffles. And the strawberry is just faint, almost like the, um, almost like the strawberry pound cake. But I like it, it smells good. Ugh. This is my other one. This one's heavy. I think this is my Christmas sale, um, Christmas order. I say sale. Yeah. So, um, and they have so much cute stuff for Christmas right now. Like, I just, I just love it. But I have so much stuff for Christmas. Like, I don't really need a ton of stuff. The only thing I need is like a wreath. Um. I got like everything else. Like I don't really need much. All right, yeah, this is my Christmas stuff. Yay, I'm excited. So I did get the new Dream Bright. This is a blind buy, by the way. I have no idea how this smells. I just decided to get it. I read the notes and it kind of intrigued me, intrigued me so I decided to go ahead and give it a try. This is the sat. It's the fragrance notes is sapphire berries, night blooming orchid, orchard, and crystallized vanilla. So, yeah, I thought I'd give it a try. So, I got that, and then I also got the body spray to go along. Look at the packaging, though. It's the packaging for me. Like what? Like that just screams. It's, my name is Diamond, y'all. Like, what? There was no way I was not going to get this. There's little diamonds all over the packaging. Diamond, diamonds, and all these different types of uh, stones. And look how beautiful that is. Like, there was no way I had to get it. And the blue, like the, um, 
the cobalt blue beautiful gorgeous so yeah i got that let me stop drooling over the package i'm gonna go ahead and take a whiff and see what i think if i can get this stuff to spray out it takes a while okay let's see this smells good it smells it smells like a clean scent like a fresh scent it's oh, this is so pretty it's it's hard to describe but it's a clean fresh scent and it's unique like i haven't smelled anything like this from bath and body works like you know a lot of times they repackage their stuff and they use like the same scents and they'll like name it something different and you know everybody's like oh i want that and then next thing you you know you got like a repackage no no ma'am no ma'am this right here this smells so good and i swear i am not, no lie like i am not bsing you guys this is so pretty like you guys have to get this it smells so pretty and if i've never smelled anything like this unless i mean they've had something that i didn't purchase but this smells really pretty i love this i will definitely have to buy backups of this because this is so pretty it smells like a perfume it doesn't smell like a it, you know it's not like a bakery scent or a foodie type of scent this is definitely like a perfume scent that you will wear going out on a date or you know just going out for the day it's this is really good sorry y'all i just get so excited like what i keep smelling it because it smells so good <sighs> y'all and i got on I got on some YSL right now, but this is worthy, honey. This is worthy. She can hang out with YSL. She sure can. Oh, it smells so good. I love this. It's called Dream Bright. And the notes is Sapphire Berries, Night Blooming Orchard, Crystallized Vanilla. I just told you guys that. What? Child, what's wrong with me? That right there. Two thumbs up. I love that. Okay, the other new scent that I purchased was the Vanilla Mocha Martini. Now, y'all know, um, I'm a I'm a coffee girl. Anytime there's a coffee scent involved, I'm interested. I'm here for it. I love the coffee scents. If, if it's a candle, if it's body care, if it's anything, I'm here for it. So, when I saw the martini, not the martini, the mocha, uh, Vanilla Mocha Martini, I was hoping there was like a coffee note in here and there is it says cozy cappuccino vanilla orchard and white tonka bean so y'all this and the packaging once again like bath and body works just just never never fails us like look at the packaging honey look at the packaging though it's the gold and the chocolate brown for me. Like what? Ugh. You guys, let me let me smell this. Child, that that dream bright. She is really just she is that girl. Like, yeah. This smells like a repackage, actually. It smells like that uh other coffee. I don't I can't think of the name of it. I have it upstairs. It might be vanilla mocha or something. Wait, this is vanilla mocha. There's another one upstairs. Hold on. Hold that on. All right, y'all. I'm back. And I got this box. I do not like when the box is like in the frame blocking my view. Blocking your view. I'm gonna move that over there. But I'm out of breath. I just had to run upstairs. <laughs> so, um, back to what I was saying. So, when I smelled this one, it immediately triggered my memory of another scent. So, this one's Vanilla Mocha Martini. This one is Vanilla Mocha Cream. Now, this is the one that I've been using recently. I've been using this lately. 
It smells beautiful. I love it. Very nice scent. If you like coffee, and it's a light coffee, it's not like overwhelming. You get more of the vanilla and the creamy, like a coffee creamer also, <laughs> almost. So um, this is what it reminds me of. This one's vanilla mocha martini. This one's vanilla mocha cream. So yeah, it, it kind of, that's why, I mean, I don't know if it's a repackage. I'm not gonna say, oh, this is a repackage because I'm okay with repackaging, to be honest. This is, these, this is a repackage. Why they do that? I hate when Vibe by Yorks does this. But you know what? I'm okay with it because I've been using this one for like the last couple of weeks. I've been using this one. And I got this last year, I think. And you see it's like a seasonal. It has the snowflakes packaging on it. And I've been loving this. And I was like, man, I, I, do I have another one? Like, I wish I would have bought a backup. And I checked my collection. I didn't have a backup. Now I have a backup. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> you see that? Child. Now I have a backup. That's crazy. These two are the exact same scent. Same notes. Both of them. I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's Cozy Cappuccino Vanilla Orchard White Tonka Bean. That's the, this is the new one, the new collection that just came out for Christmas, Vanilla Mocha Martini. This one came out last year or the year before that. I don't know. Um, I'm not too sure, but look at the notes. Cozy Cappuccino Vanilla Orchard Tonka Bean. Bath and Body York Show really tried it. <laughs> But it's okay. I'm okay with it because I don't mind having backups of a really good scent. Especially a scent that I know I should have bought backups for, but I didn't. So I'm okay with it. And I also have the body cream now because I didn't have the body cream to this one. I only have the spray. Now I have the body cream and I have a backup. So yeah, I got that. Sorry, y'all. I just, I get too involved sometimes because it's just crazy. Like, Bath and Body Works, really? <laughs> they are something else. So, this is the Vanilla and Patchouli Body Oil. This is an oil, right? This is the body oil milk. Now, when this first came out, I was hesitant to buy this because I had saw a lot of reviews where people were saying that um, it had like little beads in it, like little moisturizing beads. But when they apply it to their skin, the beads wouldn't melt. Now, this went on sale. I don't know how much it was. Uh, how much was this? The vanilla and patchouli was $5.50. It was a moisturizing sale. So I ended up buying this from the moisturizer sale. It was five, it was the $5.50 moisturizer. I got all this, or body care or something like this. All these I got for $5.50. All these. Because there was a $5.50 sale. Also this one, $5.50. Now, I wasn't gonna buy this. I said, no, I don't want to deal with it. I, I'm not going to buy something that's not going to, you know, make me happy. Now, I saw on TikTok that a lot of girls were putting this in the microwave. And they were saying that it was melting the little beads that was inside. So I said, you know what, for $5, I'm going to try it. I'll try it. I'll stick it in the microwave for, what, 20 seconds and see if the little beads melt. And then I'll try to apply it as a you know, as an oil. So, I mean, hey, what do you have to lose? $5? Like, I'll risk $5. It smells, it smells good. This is how it looks. Yeah, it's definitely moisturizing oil. It 
So I said for five dollars, child, I'll try it. Now I ain't paying no full price and all that mess for it, but when it went on sale, I grabbed it. And those little beads, I'll see what I can do about it. <laughs> I'll risk putting it in the microwave for ten seconds and see if the little beads melt, and then I'll use it as a moisturizer. And problem solved because supposedly that's what they're saying on tiktok you can put it in the microwave and they'll melt the beads will melt and it'll be fine this little guy this is a pocket back holder it's a panda bear and she has her little blue scarf and her little dazzling bling scarf very pretty i love her eyelashes so i had to grab that also, this is a wallflower that I got also Christmas. When I saw this, I thought it was too adorable and it was also me. <laughs> when I saw this, I said I had to get it because it's that's me, <laughs> period. <laughs> so let me see. Let me show you all what it is. This is the wallflower, right? It's a little Santa hand and he's holding a martini. Like what? How cute is that? How freaking cute is that? Look at the snowflake drink stir. The, well, the drink pick and it has an almond. Diamond, get it together. <laughs> it has an olive <laughs> with a little rhinestone in the middle for the core. Oh, what? Like, I had to get this. This is so freaking adorable. And he will definitely be going in my kitchen. Next item is a candle holder. This candle holder is really cute. Um, it's not a pedestal. Wait, oh, it is kind of elevated a little bit. They have it wrapped up really well. I can't, I can barely get to it. Like, let me see if I can open this thing real quick it's broken it broke I don't know how it broke because it was so wrapped up but it's broken but this is let me show you all what it is I don't even know if I can get another one because these things sell out. But I'm gonna call and see if they can send me another one. But this thing is so pretty. Like I'm definitely gonna see about getting another one. So yeah, this this is it. It's a gingerbread um, candle holder, and one of my gingerbreads broke off here. So here he is. He has a smiley face, but. Mommy's not too happy about it. So um, I'm gonna see about getting another one. Um, if they're sold out, the good thing is if they're sold out, it it has, um, I can glue it back together because it basically just broke off in one, you know, one piece like that. So um, there is a chip on his hand up here that broke off too and that piece is here so yeah i'm gonna be giving them a call and let them know and that's weird because oh, it was wrapped up so well pepper can you get down mommy get down mommy get down so i'm gonna let them know about that so my next item is a candle this was the can the candy cane candle that I've been waiting for. This is actually a pink uh, candy cane design. It's so pretty. And it's the snowy peach berry scent. This smells so good. The peach is really light. It smells like a creamy peach, almost like a creamy, a creamsicle uh, peachy smell. But it smells really pretty and I love the uh, candy cane design. So this is the Land of Sweets. So I don't know if you guys remember, but long, a long time ago, uh, years ago, they had a Land of Sweets collection where all these beautiful candles, uh, they had launched all these really pretty candles and they had like 
they look like a candy land you know type of designs on them i have a couple of them still they're like really collectibles um they're really um expensive if you go to buy them like on ebay or something um because they launched that collection and then it disappeared and they never you know we never saw it again so when i saw the land of sweets i wanted to give it a try because i was like oh that reminds me of the other collection that came out this is like a fresh scent what are the notes on this oh it's sugared pomegranate so yeah this smells really good it's a pomegranate smell but it's really fresh kind of it has a coolness to it so um the packaging is really pretty with the stars and the lollipop on there target some of this stuff um i don't know it might it might just be like household item stuff that i need um so i did end up getting a uh, butter gloss and this one is in butter scott what is this fortune cookie this one's a fortune cookie um i remember chelsea was wearing um this color and she was saying how um good it was she was like this really works well with like a um a liner and you just put like the fortune cookie on so i thought i'd give it a try i have a ton of these i love these um i have like almost all the colors and like the brownish colors so this was the only one i didn't have so i thought i'd give it a try because you know chelsea recommended it so i got that i got some grinch Reese's kisses um the packaging on them is so adorable i had to get these you put these in a little candy jar so adorable i'm obsessed with the grinch by the way i did get the spiked eggnog i don't want to take it off package because my video is already long but i thought i'd give this one a try last year i tried the cookie um I don't know if it was Christmas cookie, sugar cookie. I tried the cookie one and I loved it. Oh my God, that one smells so good. The cookie was just so authentic. Like when I would take a shower with that shower gel, the cookie just smelled so much. Like it didn't smell like it was artificial. The cookie scent just smelled so good and I was obsessed with it. I also got the Grinch ugly sweater. Um, Wait, what is this? Oh, this is a little... I got the little spiked eggnog deodorant. This is a little sampler. I didn't need a full size because I have a lot of deodorants. So I thought I'd just grab the little tiny, um, is this mini size micro <laughs> in the eggnog scent. And it doesn't really smell a ton of eggnog. You smell more like a creamy, almost cinnamon scent. So I thought I'd give that a try. I didn't want to buy the big one. And then I got the egg, the, uh, I was going to say the eggnog. I got the ugly Grinch um, sweater. This is so cute. I love the arm. You see where it says the Grinch? This is from Target, by the way. You guys know that. This is the Target haul. So I did have to get that because, like I said, I'm obsessed with the Grinch. I love the stripes on the neck here and on the sleeves. So I definitely grabbed that. I got an extra large because I like all my sweaters and my sweatshirts like oversized. So I always size up. So I got an extra large in this one. Oh, um, like these are eyelashes. These are my naked lashes from Ardell. These are my favorite lashes. I've said this numerous times in all my videos <laughs> that I'm obsessed with these. Those are the only ones that I wear unless I'm trying something different. Oh, I did get some Sugar Fix Christmas earrings i always buy these halloween christmas i love these i'm obsessed with their earrings i can wear these to work um i like the little cute little study ones and i can wear them to work and they're not like too much so i got those um this is an ornament it's just a deer and she has like this really fluffy scarf around her neck really pretty but yeah she has like a really fluffy scarf and i'm obsessed because she's a true diva so yeah i got this she has like her gold and antlers 
So I got this ornament. And like I said, I've been buying little ornaments um, here and there. This is my Grinch sweat suit. This is like a lounge set um, that they came out, that they dropped. And it's just a Grinch uh, sweatshirt and pants. So like I said, I, you know, clearly I'm obsessed with the Grinch. I've always been obsessed with him. Um, so here's the sweatshirt. So cute. And then um, that's the sweatshirt. You can lounge around the house and on rainy days, snowy days, whatever. And this is the pants. And they have a little Grinch on the side. I got this in a large. Looks really comfy, nice and soft. So I can't wait to wear that. It feels like it's empty. Slow down, Diamond. It feels like it's empty, but it's not. Probably have one item. I order stuff from Target and they send me like these items and it has like one item in it. This is a wax stick that I ordered and they sent it by itself. <laughs> but I like to use like whenever I straighten my hair, sometimes I'll use wax to lay it down instead of gel. I'll just use this wax stick to just like lay down flyaways and stuff. And it helps preserve. So I found these. This is a garland. It's a um, candy cane garland it has 10 in here i believe it's a six foot garland and i plan on hanging this on my fireplace um i do want to go for the candy cane theme that's what i've been going for last year i got i did the candy cane theme so i'm just you know gonna go with the same thing i found these cute um mitts and they have candy canes and they're pink and I was kind of like not feeling the pink but then I figured you know incorporating the pink probably wouldn't hurt so it's fine I'm not gonna have like a ton of pink but the little pink mitts are fine um, I got this from work they had these at my job they're like Grinch uh, stockings and it says Mary whatever I thought that was so adorable so um, yeah, I had to grab one of him. One of him. One of these. Okay, I got a couple of ornaments. I have these red deers. I have a flock tree, so the red really pops on my tree. So I've been trying to incorporate more red to my tree. And I have this cute little polar bear. I thought he was so cute, so I had to grab him. And then, um, I did get these little cute, uh, cat ornaments. So, I have a cat. Her name is Chloe. She's my older cat. She's about 10 years old. Um, she looks like this. She's kind of like all these different colors. She's a tabby. So, I thought that would be cute for her. And then I got this one, Pepper. <laughs> Pepper, get down. Get down. This is an all black cat. So I got this one to represent Pepper. And she is like all over it. What is, girl, is there catnip in this thing? Okay, here, go. Get down. Go get it. And then my other ornament is, this is a martini drink ornament. I thought this was so cute. Another representation of myself. Because <laughs> I love my drinks. Um, I got that. This is a Starbucks ornament. Um, when Starbucks dropped their holiday line, I grabbed one of these. It's just a Starbucks cup. I did get this um, candy cane spatula. And it's also like a, a light powder pink. This spatula was cheap. It was only $2. So I, I had to grab that. It goes with the mitts. And then I 
where are these online? These are like candy cane ornaments. It's just two in a pack. And then what is this? Oh, this is a Target ornament. So these were so hard to find, y'all. Like I went to Target and I got lucky because, child. And I just happened to find this on a humbug. Like it was in a random spot. It looked like somebody had grabbed it and put it back or something. And there was none, nowhere. I looked all over the place and I was like, dang, like I was on my side because he knew I wanted this ornament and I just happened to find one, like I said, in a random spot. So this is the Target dog. Every year they come out with these. I get one every year. Um, and this is the one from 2022, I believe. I got these little pink little deers. I thought these were so cute. They look like little fawns, like baby deers. I grabbed that. It's a two pack. So yeah, that was all for that bag. So that's everything. That's my um, boxes and packages. I have one more thing I want to show you guys. It's actually a winter coat that I purchased from the Target website. Um, they had a big sale on like their winter coats. So I'm going to go ahead and try to, uh, and do like a try on and I will be right back. Okay. Okay. Y'all. So I had to set up my camera where you guys can see like a body shot. So hopefully this works out. Um, this is a jacket here and I ordered this online. So y'all know how that goes, but it is a black, um, wool a black wool type coat winter coat um i went out to dinner with my husband and some friends and um, and i realized i didn't have any like nice winter coats like all my coats are like puffer jackets and you know cat like uh you know casual nothing really formal you know so um i decided i would get me a nice jacket and it needed to be heavy because it's winter. So I needed something heavy and warm. So this is how it looks. Um, it has these buttons here. Um, this jacket was, I think, $70, $76. It has a lining. It's pretty heavy. It feels like it's pretty warm. Um, hopefully, you all can see. Um, I'm not really good at doing this, um, like, <laughs> try on. So, I'm going to go ahead and try it on. And I got it in an extra large so I can get that, you know, um, comfortable, oversized feel nothing too like tight and it's good that i got an extra large because this fits like it fits really good if it if i got a large it will probably be too too small or too tight this one i got a nice amount of space in it so this is it My cat is always interrupting my videos. It's a nice length. Um, I'm really short, so <laughs> it's good that it's not too long because I like it. I actually like it. And it's black. It goes perfect with everything. I can wear my black boots. I have some really cute, like, knee-high black boots I can wear with this. The only thing is it doesn't button all the way down. It stops here. So I don't know how I'm going to feel about that. But I think I like it. It looks really nice. I'd have to wear it maybe once. It feels really comfortable, though. And I have a lot of... Um, well, I I have a sweatshirt on, so um, 
if I was to wear this, I would definitely not have on a sweatshirt. So it's kind of snug, but if I take my sweatshirt off, I'm sure it will feel just fine. So that's what I'm going to do. Take that off and then try it on. This feels really nice. I love this and I love the pockets on the side and these are just faux pockets these are just for design by the way but your pocket is here and it fits great I'm glad I got a size up that's what they were saying on the reviews to size up and it feels really nice and this has like a vintage um it was called a vintage something i didn't i don't think the receipt because i bought it online the receipts on my phone but the name of it but it's really pretty i like it the collar so yeah I wanted to show you all this okay y'all so that concludes my Target and Bath and Body Works haul and I will be back for the next video make sure you stay tuned and thank you all for watching and happy holidays bye